Hello and welcome back. I'm Melinda Bigley and today I wanted to show you guys uh, something that we did in a live which is embroidering on a sweatshirt. How to stabilize and um, how to prepare to embroider on a sweatshirt. A lot of people want to know this and I, it seems like it's a simple thing but it is something you want to learn to do. Um, I do it the same way pretty much every time as far as what I use. So I just wanted to show you my system here. So what I do is I go in and I place, in fact, I'll show you, I'll, re, I'll reframe this. Um, underneath on the back of this every time I will affix the, um, SF 101. This is a fusible webbing. So I'm going to adhere that to the back of my sweatshirt every single time. And then what you're going to do is you are going to take your hoop. I find these um, dime hoops when it comes to something like this very easy to use and um, I really don't often use the standard hoops because these are just, they work better. They're easier and it it's easier to get your hoop in there without having puckering. Okay, so I'm placing that hoop in the general direction where I know my stabilizer is and where I know that my design's gonna be. Okay, so what you're gonna do now, I place the second stabilizer, which is no-show mesh, and that's gonna go under the sweatshirt and over the top of that hoop. And I'm just gonna make sure that there are no puckers in there and it covers the entirety of that hoop. In there okay it doesn't it's not tragic if it's not completely straight because it doesn't matter what matters is your placement of your design and I do feel a pucker in there somewhere I'm not sure where it is but it was on the back okay so I just gave that a little bit of a pull on the back of the sweatshirt and it and it got that so the pucker is no longer there so then what I'm going to do is, and I, and I have two ways of doing this. Sometimes I float this topper, and this is a heat away topper. And I just had that little packaging, but I think I bet it's, the dog picked it up off the floor and now it's gone. This is the heat away topper, and this is Baby Lock's product. Ah, there it is. Thank you. So this is press away topping, and it is by Baby Lock, and it's my favorite. So I'm going to take that, place it over the top of my, my frame. And because this frame is smaller than this piece of um, heat away topper, I can go ahead and hoop it in there as well. Again, I, like I showed last night, if you, if you base this, it's fine. It, it's really just a matter of getting this topper underneath your stitches. And the beauty of the heat away is that it doesn't wash away. So if you have a wash away topper, obviously it does what it says, it's gonna wash away. That doesn't do you any good after you um, have it stabilized nicely and then you wash it, it's gone. So this can only be removed with actually touching a, um, the, the tip of something hot, i.e. an iron, okay? So I've got my, um, I've got my hoop oriented in such a way that it will, uh, it's, it's just easier for me to place it in the machine. So I've got this little thing that will plug into the machine there. So um, we will go ahead and switch over to that so we can slide this into the machine and start embroidering. Okay, so we are at our machine and the way I've oriented this is the bottom of the sweatshirt is facing me. So I'm just gonna take the nice thing about this, this hoop is it's small, so it's very easy to get the sweatshirt to work with me and not, I don't have to fight it, and I probably won't even have to clip it out of the way, we'll see. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that the sweatshirt is not underneath, and I'm making sure that this uh, stabilizer is flat as well. So I'm just gonna slide the hoop in, make sure that the sweatshirt is not underneath, and that's the big thing, if you've ever uh, embroidered a sweatshirt, you've probably embroidered on the bottom of a sweatshirt at some point. So I am actually going to clip this because I want to make sure that this stays out of the way. And that's no big deal. You can use any clips you want. These are the large um, wonder clips. Hair clips work. 
painting clips work from Home Depot. You can use whatever, whatever works for you. Okay, so we're making sure that's out of the way and making sure there's nothing underneath on this side. So the stabilizer's out completely. Now, you might be looking at the puckers on this topper, the topper here, it does not matter. It just needs to be on the top of the sweatshirt. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. Okay, so now if we are going to, um, let's take a look at what we're going to put on the sweatshirt. So I've got the little shark, but as you can see, he's facing up. He's oriented correctly, but what I don't want to do is have him like that because we've got the sweatshirt upside down. Now, the way I've got this position, the pocket on the sweatshirt is over here. I want that shark to be wrapped around. I want his head facing that way. So what I can do, since the shark is not actually um, digitized that way, I'm gonna take that little button and just flip him. Okay, so now he's facing exactly the way I want him to be. The only thing is I'm not sure how it's going to sit on the top of the sweatshirt. I may have to move it around. So what we'll do so we'll go ahead and go into embroidery. And again, this is the Solaris 3. In fact, I just upgraded or updated to, um, okay, so it's saying I need a larger frame. Here's what I'm gonna do for that. I'm gonna shrink the size of this guy. So just so you know, you can see up here, see the frames. I'm gonna bring this down until that other frame appears. And when I do that, you'll see that, um, okay, that frame just popped up. So what I'm looking at, you've got two frames that are um, lighted and then two that are grayed out. I can't use that one. That one's the one I'm using, the five by seven. So if I go down one more step, you'll see that pop up. Okay, so problem solved. I, if you're not wanting to shrink your design down, don't do that, but I am. So I'm gonna rotate it again. When you make that change, it'll, it'll reorient the, the positioning of it and you have to just rotate it. And it didn't flip it around. So it's right where I want it to be now. So let's go into embroidery and we're going to go to the, um, we're gonna go to our projector. Now, when you look at the projector like this, you can hardly see that. So I'm gonna show you this. I've, done, I've shown this many times, but if you're new to the channel, you may not have seen it. I'm gonna go to my settings and I'm gonna go to page four. I'm gonna go to the light and I'm gonna turn the light off, okay? So now I'm also going to go back in and I'm not sure if my projector is going to go right back to being on or not. And it is. Okay. So now you can see that gigantic difference in um, how well that shows between um, the light on and the light off. So if you haven't turned that on or off when you're using your projector, give it a shot and you will, um, trust me, you'll continue to turn it off so that you can see it better. Okay, so now what I want to do is I, I'm, I just have it in my head where I want this shark to sit. Um, and I'm going to bring him a little bit closer to the pocket. I can't do too much there because of the way I've got it positioned, but I want that to be about right there. So let's just take a look at where his tail is going to be. And that's not on the pocket, so I'm happy with that. Let's look at where the fin is over there and the shark right there. Okay, I'm happy with that. So let's get to embroidering. What I'm going to do though is go back into my settings and turn the light back on. Someday I'm hoping Baby Lock will have that light turn off automatically once we, once we turn on our projector. But we will see, we will see, I will keep mentioning it. Okay, so the other key thing is making sure your sweatshirt or whatever it is you're embroidering is not going to get caught on things. So I'm just, I'm probably going to stay and watch this stitch out to make sure um, nothing gets sucked underneath. And usually with sweatshirts, that has a tendency to happen, especially when you're using a bigger, like last night I was doing one on a 10 by 10 and a lot of the sweatshirt wants to engulf that frame. Just stick with it and make sure that doesn't happen, you know, so you don't have to end up buying a new sweatshirt or putting something else on it to make cover up the giant hole. Okay, so we're going to start. Okay, so let's remove this from 
the machine and from the hoop. And this stuff comes off, as you can see, super easily. Trying to get this so you can see it. And it looks pretty neat. I love that. So I'm just going to take... Now what I will do is I'll go in and cut around the no-show mesh and remove that. Um, I usually leave a sufficient amount of the um, fusible webbing on there to keep puckers out. And you can see that came out great. So I'm very happy with that. Um, hopefully that will give you guys a better look at embroidering on a sweatshirt and how easy it is to do that. And um, usually I'll say, hey, there's sometimes better ways out there, but I can tell you that I never have an issue. I'm just trying to get this stuff out of here. Um, I never have an issue with the way I do sweatshirts. So give it a shot and see what you think. If it doesn't work for you, um, there are lots of other ways to do things. So hopefully that looks like a fun thing for you guys to do. And just so you know, this came from, this design came from Embroidery Library. They have some cute shark ones on there. If you're, I know a couple of my gals were saying that their grandkids love sharks. So yeah, take a look at that. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching. I hope that was helpful, and I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.